What's up everybody? Just want to give you a little tip here. Um, yeah, I'm triggering people right now. Sucks to be you. Anyways, see these G4003 Grizzlies made in somewhere. They got this opening here under the headstock, as you can see. It sucks because it gets full of chips. So a couple weeks back I was modifying a uh, pile of stuff to scrap and I came across a microwave and I disassembled it. Well, in the process of disassembling it, I found a little shield that fit kind of nice. Um, still a sticker on it and whatnot. But anyways, this came from inside the microwave. And, um, well, you know what? I made it fit right here. And it's a little bit of a squeeze to get it in because it needed to fit nice and snug. But, if you do it just right, it fits right there. And hold on, I dropped my little piece here. This this guy made a little wedge. Come on, you fucking bastard. Focus. There we go. So it's just a piece of the sheet metal from it, bent as a little wedge. Put that guy right in here, in the groove. Once I get it into the right spot. I think I'm at the right spot. So anyways, I put it in the groove there. Once I get it. See now, now that I'm doing it with one hand, it's not, here it goes. So it's, it's almost flush. There's a little bit of a gap there, but not a hell of a lot. But if you push on it. Anyways, there you go. Now all I have to do is sweep chips out of right here with my brush. And I got anything under the headstock, which eventually comes out the backside behind this panel, but... You don't want that. I don't want that. So, anyways, that was my little tip trick for the week. Um, yeah, you're triggered. But anyways, hope this helps anybody with a 4003. And, um, well, I don't know what other lathes it applies to. But I bet you it fits almost any, you know, where made cheap lathe of impeccable poor quality. Because, uh... You know, that's the way they are. Oh, I wanted to show somebody something. Right here. See that? That was all void in the casting that they welded. I can't get a shot from underneath, but as you can tell, it's right there. They welded it and then ground it anyway. So somebody was saying you can't do that. Well, they did it. And that's grizzly. So, all right. I hope this uh, helps somebody out as far as chip control. Catch you later.